I was born out of wedlock. My father was never around. My grandmother wouldn't call me by name. My brothers, my sister were always high or drunk. We were very poor. I was always alone as a child when I was a small child. My uncle and I never told anyone. My father attempted suicide. It was raining outside. I could hear my brother arguing and he was standing there in the rain in the dark, busted out the windows in my car. And he said to me, I should have killed you when I had the chance. most difficult thing to not live in words that somebody speaks over you, whether they're words of life or death. And I used to hide under the porch and it was very dark and musty and I can remember seeing the little beams of light coming through the planks on the boards, all the chaos, the yelling, the crying, the anger. I just wanted away from it, and so I would hide. I, one Sunday, got dressed. I went to church, and that's where I first learned about God. They were teaching us about the garden, and I can just remember picturing this peaceful place where God was present and how I wanted that moment in my life. I wanted to be in that garden. When I would get upset and hide, it was always like a cold, damp place. But I can remember as I would start to pray, I would get warm and the sounds were filtered out. I wouldn't hear the yelling anymore. I would just hear calmness and I felt peace. For me, it felt like the Garden of Eden. I stepped away from my faith I felt like everything everybody said I would be, I was. I was divorced, and he told me that I would never be loved, that I was incapable of being loved. As a single mother, I had an addiction. The loneliness had really taken over my life. The mother of a friend of mine invited me to Life Point. When I walked through the doors, there was a love there that instantly brought me back to my childhood. I rededicated my life. I suddenly felt that peace again that I did as a little girl when I would pray. I felt like I wasn't alone. I was back in the garden. surrounded by people. There are people who love you. God loves you. There's life to live. There's words of life. God never leaves you. He's always there.